Right, we rolling? Everybody okay? Right, thought we've got to get through this bloody shit. Got luncheon with Jimmy Tarbuck at 12 o'clock. Got to get to it. Right, ready? Okay. Hello and good morning to you. My name's Sir Jeremy Krim. I directed and produced Star Portraits with my good friend Sir Rolf Harris. I'll pass it over to Rolf to uh, describe the programme. G'day. Welcome to Star Portraits, yes. the unique contest where three professional artists come together to paint a celebrity. At the end of the programme, the sitter sees the three paintings for the first time That's right. and chooses a favourite, which he or she gets to keep. I should just listen to Sir Rolf's voice over here, because it goes very rough. It's home for our celebrity. A he TV came into the studio, very short of breath, very angry, I don't know why. Struggled to talk. It's a shame. Now, the initial idea for this programme was that Sir Rolf would um, do the portraits himself. Um, but for some reason, you find he didn't want to be in the public eye quite as much. He seemed very upset about something. He wouldn't tell us what. So he's just sort of the. Today's subject is a collector with an eye for the finer things in life. Oh God, I'm so sorry about this image. I fought tooth and nail not to have this in. Jesus Christ, fought very hard not to have that in. But obviously, it's David Dickinson. That was him, Ricky Dicky Davidson. Um, his mother's got his mother's mouth, if you look there. Antiques dealer David Dickinson. I fought tooth and nail not to have David Dickinson in. He's not the kind of chap I want to frequent with. He's not been knighted. His skin turns a little dark for me, if you know what I mean. Um, but Rolf said no, he's a good friend of mine, or he said it more in an Australian accent. Trolley Japes. I've chosen three artists who are as interested in the But yes, Rolf refused to do any paintings. He said he didn't want to be in the public eye that much anymore. He said he was going to start retiring soon. Not sure why. She studied at Farnham and has Bloody idiot, look at her. She looks like my fourth wife. She always used to walk around with a cock under her arm. Absolutely dreadful pictures. Now, one of the stipulations Rolf had was that all the artists must be absolutely shite. Look at that. Absolutely awful. What a mess. Dirty mess. There's one coming up that's absolutely horrific. Look at that. Terrible to look at. Horrific image. And this pretentious bitch. Ugh. Hated this woman. A, she wouldn't let me touch her buttocks, and B, she was so pretentious. She, oh, God, her art's awful, absolutely awful. I've seen graffiti that's better than that, and that's saying something. Absolutely love graffiti. A squint is going to make it better. Well, here we are in the heart of the sitter's home. It's a converted barn, great chunks of oak. Supporting it, hideous tiny little it house, together. tiny as well. The artists well. are all here. Can I ask you how you're feeling about this challenge? So we're going to have a huge surprise in a minute. We don't know who we're painting, and they're just going to suddenly turn up. A little apprehensive, Rolf. Why? Entering into the unknown. Rebecca, how I'm sure Rolf said that a few sitter. times. Oh, a lot if of you time know what I mean. Just looking at the sitter and observing oh, and God. interacting with the sitter. That's very important. So this is oh, very new. Up. Any idea who it might be? Oh, we've absolutely been trying no idea. Really it's not through the fucking keyhole, Rolf. Um, Jesus. We've asked the production team for weeks. We haven't found out. Well, let's do it. For weeks. As if you've been celebrity. in this process for weeks. Would you weeks. step this way, kind sir? <laughs> <laughs> well, <can you> shut <laughs> <it>? <laughs> like, who's that? I don't know who that is. It is, of course, <laughs> Antique Supremo David Dickinson. Binny. Hello, Binny. Nice, nice to you. meet you. Andy. None of them had Hello, a clue Andy. who nice the hell he was. Hello, Andy. Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Hello. Nice to All these people had full time jobs. They'd never watched daytime television. I came in here and looked at the environment, and I thought it was quite female, actually. David Dickinson took exception to this. He was very offended by it. Bloody fuming. It took him ages to talk him down and get him back into the room. This is 20 minutes later after we had to up his fee by £2,000. Furious with the woman. Why did you think that? Because it's very rusty. It's, it's such contempt in his voice. Well, of course, that's that's the nature of mm. my business. I, yeah. The art that I sell God, it's is awful. strong. It's like a bloody show home. Decorator mm. art. Mm. Have you been painted before? Never before, Rolf. 
I mean, I can't believe. No, it. never before. But I mean, it's it's such an exciting prospect that, uh, and three at once. Yes. yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, sure, Ross had three at once. Some <laughs> colour. Well, we're just you know, I'm just trying to sort of take in the blue, a bit of a blue situation. Well, she's got a blue yeah. shirt on. And, um, got any other ties? Any other ties? Again, this, this woman just seemed to want to antagonise David as much as possible. She shows. absolutely hated the man, and Have he absolutely got, yeah, hated yes, her. Yeah. <laughs> another fifty. <laughs> just pause there for a second, right? So she's asked David Dickinson if he's got any other ties because she doesn't like the colour. OK. I thought, well, that's a bit offensive, but, you know, David was a bit annoyed about it, but he rolled with it. And then the woman started getting overly sexual. Didn't know why, didn't know where it came from, but, she, well, this is what she said next. <laughs> Get them all down here. <laughs> and then we retire you up. <laughs> Yes. We were like, did she just say that? We weren't sure, so we, there's, you look at her face and there's an air of joviality, but there's also an air of sinisterness. Let's just watch it again. <laughs> Get them all down here. <laughs> and then we were tie you up. Just the look of lust in her eyes, but there's also an anger there. She doesn't. She's conflicted with the feelings for Ricky Dicky Davidson, and I think that's the feeling that most of the nation have. They're disgusted by him, but also deeply aroused, and that arousal is causing some internal confusion in them. <laughs> Get them all down here, <laughs> and then we would tie you up. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, David was not happy about this at all. <laughs> Little digs constantly. I wonder what he's going to have to say when it is that horse painting. He did have the most beautiful tie collection I've ever seen in any man, though. Absolutely stunning, some of them. So now it comes down to the sitting of David Dickinson and. Um, this, again, took a really rather erotic turn. I think the guy just exudes eroticism. Yes, this woman wanted him to see sprayed legs in an erotic lady pose. From, well, we don't, we'll see. David was up for it. He was well up. Now, look at the bitch in the pink. That was quite a masculine... I think she was actually a man. Play it cool and fast, David Dickinson. And it's so much more comfortable, isn't it? It really doesn't look bloody comfortable, Rolf, if you ask me. Will they be able to get David's real character? And what techniques will they use? Look at all that girl. Chintzy shit. Tacky. Anyway, so Rolf's bollocking on now about art or some shit. Um, so this is a production we did in the mid 2000s. Only got four episodes. Didn't take off very well. Um, Rolf wasn't particularly keen to do it anymore. I'm not sure why. Look at that shit. Absolute dross this guy did. I'm sure he didn't know what he was doing. Don't know how he got onto the program. Some basic sketches they're doing now. Then, what is it doing? Now, I absolutely adore art. Um, some great artists I've followed, but these three amateur bollocks. I mean, look at this. I've vomited more artistic shit than this. Look at it. Just look at it. What is it playing at? It's not even using a brush. He's using some kind of metal spatula. What's that all about? Christ. My four-year-old once um, was sick all over. Look at that bullshit. Awful. Absolutely awful. People claim art is subjective, but it's not. It's obvious when stuff shies. It's the same with food. Someone presents you with an omelette that's half cooked and stinks of dog muck. You know, it's obvious it's not very good. It's the same with art. Do you always paint the head so big in, in the game? Look at it. Looks like it's made out of dog dirt and moss. I found it somewhat offensive. See it through. See it through. Put it in the bin. Oh. I got so angry when we were filming this, I thought, this guy is having a right bloody laugh with us. He's an idiot, he's an amateur. He wouldn't get away with this on Watercolour Challenge, I tell you what. He'd be off that bloody program before you could sneeze. That's awful too. Well, it's almost halfway through now. 
And I right. think it's perfectly obvious we're going to have three completely different paintings. <laughs> Don't forget, Dave is not allowed to even glimpse them for at least two weeks till they're all finished. Oh, such a beautiful little man. Looking like little boy, so happy. Right, so about halfway through now. Um, we don't... Uh, I think it's time we have a break. Yeah, so we're going to have a break now. We break a so we've got a competition winner in. Um, it was a good, f mm. well, huge fan of David Dickinson. So, um, how's it going at half time? Well, young chap, Paul Fax, if you'd like to come in, please. Hello. Hello, Hello. Hello. how do you do? I did very well, thank you. How are you? Jolly sir? good. Now, we're just going to have you sit with us while we do the commentary for the Star Portraits of David Dickinson. Um, thank you for having me. I heard you breath a minute. Um, things went a little bit odd again with this woman and Rolf. You know he might feel a bit uncomfortable to start She's with. Most busty. models do feel like that. And so one Shush. needs to sort of you know, stalk him a bit and get into it. Stalk him. Stalk him. It's the lovely Hicks statement of the facts, isn't it? You're trying to creep yeah. up on somebody. Yeah. And and you think I'm not surprised we roll Harry's ace to Jeremy Cream. Well, that's oh, Rolf all round, really, Paul. is just sort of zeroing in on what this woman wanted to talk about and apparently talking about stalking Sir David Dickinson. Yeah. I'm surprised you're still doing this, um, you're going ahead with this, given um, all of Rolf Harris's beastly behaviour of recent years. Well, yes, I did actually want to talk about Rolf Harris's beastly behaviour. I mean, you know, when you look at it objectively, it was a period of time we all made a lot of money out of it. It was in great demand. <clears throat> and, you know, we thought, should we do this now or should we, you know, just keep it private? Um, we sat down with Rolf a lot and we thought, no, Rolf, your beastly behaviour, I think a lot of people are going to be interested in it. You can make an awful lot of money out of it. I can't believe you're saying that to Mr Jeremy Crane. It's abhorrent what he's done. It's no worse than anybody else's. I'm mean, crying out loud, it's not, he's not the first to do it. He certainly won't be the last to do it. <sighs> you know, lots of people are begging for it, gagging for it even. It's very common. Can't believe you're saying this to me, Sir Jeremy. I really can't. I'm shocked and appalled. Well, have you read it? Uh, have I read what, Sir Jeremy? Rolf Harris's beastly behaviour. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rolf Harris's beastly behaviour. What are you talking about? I'm talking about his beastly behaviour too. Right. He touched all them children. He's in prison. What? I'm talking about his bloody book about animals. Do you not watch the news, Sir Jeremy? No. He's been in prison for quite some time now for touching up children on television. What? Apparently, alleged, not allegedly, it's proven in a court of law. Oh, did you not know, Sir Jeremy? I don't bloody idea, I don't know, fucking tell me. Sorry. Oh, for Christ's sake. I thought you knew. Bastard, get a microphone out, man. Right, where are you? What are you doing? Sort of Call my agent. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Do, do, I, think it's do I continue talking? That, a, Shit off my head. Well, David Dickinson obviously hosted Bargain Hunt from... Peter, the, Jeremy. No. We're still this fucking voiceover for star bloody portraits bullshit we did in the mid-2000s. We found out Rolf Harris is in prison touching up kids. What? What? Why did they tell me? I can't believe we didn't know. That was a fucking travesty, I tell you what. You want me to come down there? Come down there and talk to you. You want to see me in person, do you? But I'm not going to continue. You've got this fat, stinking guy next to me. Stinks. Talking about David Dickinson for some yeah. reason. It's not nice. Mm, met the man. Bloody buffoon. Absolute idiot. And fucking three talentless hacks trying to paint some shit. I farted better than that. Turn the inside of my Wi-Fi looks a lot better than this bullshit. One guy's painting, it looks like it's made out of just dog dirt. Tell you what, why didn't you tell me it was in bloody prison? What? No, I will not do the commentary for the Price is Right. Who's doing the Price is Right? Oh. This better not be another blankety blank all over again. I will not work with Lily Savage. The woman's an absolute monster. Breasts felt completely flaccid. What? What contract? You're talking nonsense. I have not. 
What? Right. I'll do the David Dickinson one, where you can chuff off if you think I'm doing the Indian woman. Mere style. I'm not doing that. Absolute bullshit. Fine. We're still on for the Ivy this weekend. Right. All right, I'll see you then, then. All right, goodbye. <laughs> Fucking uh, ridiculous. Everything all right, Sir Jeremy? What is the point? No one tells me these things. I look like an absolute idiot. If he's in prison, who's going to be buying this DVD? Why am I doing a DVD commentary? I don't know. Stupid. Germans, probably. What a waste of bloody time. I could have been at home. I've got a beautiful King Edward the Fourth chest coming this morning. Right. To look at these talentless idiots. <sighs> Christ's sake. Paul, waffle on about David Dickinson, please. I'm say how's it going, but David Dickinson hosted Bargain Hunt for quite a long time, but then he went to ITV to do David Dickinson's Real Deal, um, which I don't actually like as much as Bargain Hunt, if I'm honest. Right. There's no element of um, competitiveness to it. Ooh. Rolf Harris is touching up a painting. I bet he didn't like that. I thought, get, get, get your dirty fingers off my painting. It's quite good, that, actually, isn't it, Sir Jeremy? I like it. Look at it. You can tell it's David Dickinson. You can tell it's quite quite good. What do you think, Sir Jeremy? I was heard, absolutely rubbish. Disgust. Look at it. All bumpy. I tried doing painting once um, when I was about seven. Um, I got some watercolours. It's say watercolours. It was that, like, blocks of stuff that you get free. Um, rubbish they were with, with like a past plastic brush put me off for life I won't even doodle now it came out so embarrassing I don't care it just looked like t looked like Tina Turner wasn't supposed to be Tina Turner it was supposed to be a still life of a sad orange right. just looked a bit deflated I mean it looks like David Dickinson but oh it's shit absolutely awful it's got all this orange all over it Bullshit. Now this bloody woman absolutely hated her, if I'm honest. Um, her husband worked in the stock market. He was railing in it. Um, and but he was so henpecked. She has converted half of her barn, well, all of her barn, really, to her art. She's never had a job. She didn't raise the children. She didn't stay at home cooking clean. She sent the children to boarding school so she could concentrate on her art. It was bloody awful. Um, it's just, just useless woman. Absolutely useless. It's funny you say that, Sir Jeremy Cream, because that just describes literally every single one of your wives so far, except the current one. The previous nine wives you've had, that's every single one of them you've ever had. You are quite henpecked. They all do stay at home and do chuff all. It's not true. Remember that one that tried to stay at home and raise giraffes? Except she couldn't get a giraffe in the country, so she just painted some llamas. Ridiculous. You're probably bloody right. I did try it on with this woman, but she wouldn't let me... Not this woman. Ugh. The other woman. She wouldn't let me touch her phenomenal bosoms. I wish I could draw like that. Now, this woman just... Yeah. I honestly don't know where we got these artists from. Absolute idiot. She just put a little boy's floating head near him. Don't know why. I don't know who it was supposed to be. Look at that peacock feather. Fucking awful. I've I've, I generally have seen graffiti better than this, and I absolutely loathe graffiti. Look at it, it looks almost African. Um, no, I'm not saying that in a racist way, I'm just saying there's certain features of an African person that uh, seems to have adopted there, not through choice, obviously. Okay. Weird little child. Right, so I've just come to the end now. David Dickinson is going to see the paintings now big day for the first the time. How are you feeling about Except it wasn't the first time we've seen them before. The I'm going to tell you I feel a little bit All right, now what you're going to see, obviously you've seen these paintings before, you didn't want to be shocked. So what you're going to see is maybe some Oscar-worthy acting from Sir David Dickinson. Want to see them um, I do. It's pretending. Are you ready? Showed him the ready. first one. I didn't think this was finished. Right. I thought it's very much. She's not finished the orange. It's not. And the it's eyes not are very, very shit. strong. I'm drawn no to the picture. There's no definition to the lines. It's a bit blurry. I thought I didn't have my glasses on, but I did. Absolutely dreadful painting. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the yes, thumb please. on it. Okay. Awful. He absolutely loves this one. I can't believe how okay. terrible yes. he. He was nearly sick when he saw it for the <laughs> oh, first time. It's very Sorry. strong. It's very powerful. This is. That's terrible. 
It looks like a baboon. That obviously is me as a young boy. Trying very hard to be positive. He's a very positive gentleman, isn't he, Paul? Yes, you don't want to show people up. He's quite kind, he hated it. He spat on it later, if I recall correctly. What's up with his shirt? Why is it so busy? Awful painting. Terrible. And now this one is just... Ready, sir. I'm ready. He hated it so much, he had to pretend he loved it. Oh, he said the two emotions really were very close together. That's really good, Sir Jeremy. What are you talking about? He was stunned at how disgusted he was with it. Moved to vomit. He was furious. Got on his phone to his agents and said if he could try and get out of it, he couldn't get out of it. That's really good, Sir Jeremy. He kept saying, why do they all make me look so sad? I'm not a sad man, am I? He just kept questioning how happy he was. Then he said, my natural mother. If, you, if I was to show you a, a photograph of my mother just before she died, I think you'd be virtually looking at her there. You know? So I said, this painting looks like his nearly dead mother. Oh, I think it's really good, though, to say how it began, Sir Jeremy. Awful. He hated them so much. No. He's not an actor, though, so he couldn't keep up his facade of pretending to love them for very long. No is most amazing. I'm, I'm not quite sure what to think about this role. He doesn't because like it. Look, we know he doesn't like it. There's a certain amount of darkness in just, the portrait. Poor David Dickinson. It was terrible. He just started having a bit of a breakdown. I would like oh, to think why? He couldn't that believe that... Be he couldn't believe that that's how people saw him. So sad. Oh. And not quite as tanned. As people walking. Right. There we go. I imagine it's the tan that upset him. It's your BAFTA moment, Dickinson. Did well, it win a BAFTA? Yes, they're terrible. You should be ashamed. I'm assuming not. He lunged at one of the artists. Can't remember which one. Did he? Don't believe you. Awful. Absolutely awful. I think... I think you're... So, David Dickinson, the choice is yours. Which of these three pieces of shit will go in above your toilet? You remember this fella, do you? Oh. I think the woman in pink had a thing for David Dickinson to be cert on. Yeah, probably right. Got that fun though, that's terrifying. Can't be his fun. He's got like a Mona Lisa smile. You brought out the laziness in my eyes. Not something every man wants to admit. He hated it. I don't blame him, it's rubbish. Interesting, and then this <laughs> awful. Here, this sadness in there, isn't there? Yeah, so that's what you want when you want a portrait to look really, really sad. Well, like a dead mother. Um, there is one picture here, right? Yeah. That has just blown me away. And it is? Oh. It is this picture. And I don't want to accuse David Dickinson of being sexist, but he refused to take a picture drawn by a woman. Uh, Utterly refused. Really? I think. I can't really remember any of this, to be honest. I was so high on a lot of prescription medication and a lot of non-prescription medication at the time. Yeah. I was suffering quite badly at that time with gout and various other medical complications. I don't remember great swathes of this. If I'm honest, I don't remember Rolf Harris being in it at all. I just remember David Dickinson's suits. Right. Man smelt absolutely phenomenal. If I'm so being honest, though, David gets yeah. Andy's emotional painting. The other portraits will go on public display in a bin, hopefully. That wraps up this week's program. I'm sure the portrait hey, Rolf. David shows will find itself dirty, a dirty very pervert. special place in his home. Can't believe it. See you next time. No, you won't, Rolf. <laughs> Can't believe you didn't make her your wife's a joke. Right. That's been Star Portrait. Right. Am I? Can I go now? I've got lunch, and thank you. Oh. I'm back this afternoon. What for? <laughs> what? I'm not doing the commentary of the Sky at Night from 1970 to 1977. Yes, I'll do it now. Uh, we recorded the Sky at Night from 1970 to 1970. Just point a camera at Sir Patrick Moore. And that's it. He babbles on. Then cut after 10 minutes. Chop it up into monthly segments. Absolutely baffling program. Mm, right. Awful picture. It looks like he's had a stroke. Does it be? So bored. Thank you for watching. Tour de law.